What's up everybody, Biobin here, back with another video. So today, I'm going to do something a bit different. We're in Ghost Recon Wildlands. I've been playing Wildlands. I know Breakpoint's out, but I'm not quite ready to buy it yet. Today, we're going to put the guns away. We're going to check out this beautiful open world, and we're going to go on a little road trip. So we're up here at the north of the map. We're going to go along the death road and work our way around the map. We're going to see how far we get. Eventually, I'd like to go all the way around because we have this beautiful scenery to enjoy. Let's take a look at it. So we're going to head up to the death road here. That'll be our first point of interest. So if you haven't played uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands or Breakpoint, uh, both open world kind of tactical shooter games, uh, definitely Ubisoft style games, uh, go to an area, lots of points on the map, collectibles, things like that, um, upgrades, skills, uh, resources to gather. Uh, it's quite fun. I like it a lot. It is a bit repetitive, but it's something a little bit different away from sim racing, and to top it off, it has a really nice open world uh, set in Bolivia with a fictional cartel kind of uh, running the country you're sent in to take them down. We'll ignore the bad guys. We're on holiday today. So, let's Take a look here, some nice jungle vistas, there's quite a varied uh, world here to explore. We're kind of up in the mountains right now. <clears throat> Lots of, uh, shall we say, uh, agriculture going on up here. Um, but yeah, you can see extensive road network here. Just making sure I'm on the right path. I will set this as our first waypoint. So I like the motorcycle in this game. Um, definitely not necessarily super realistic, but it feels good. You can kind of really chuck it around. And it's got a little weight to it, but it's pretty light. And, um, Definitely handles rough terrain well. It's a little kind of yumpy jumps going on. So we're up here on the death road now. If you don't know the death road, um, it's basically like this. Uh, it's a really, really tight, twisty mountain track, and it's called the Death Road because uh, well, uh, cars crashing and going over the edge, and people dying from it. <clears throat> you can see wrecked cars all along here. Right now we're in the jungle region. You can see over there there's some really high mountains, like the Andes over there. Sit past those baddies right there. Of course, crosses marking the death road. So eventually we'll make our way out to those mountains out there. Not sure how long that'll take us.
kind of came back to Wildlands just because I wanted some kind of open world, uh, open world game to to go through. Need a little little break from some sim racing, so came back in here and then went, hey, you know what? <laughs> let's uh, let's hop on a motorcycle and ride around the world here. It's actually something I really enjoy doing in a lot of open world games. Um, I've been wanting to do it in Dakar 18, because there's definitely a massive open world to explore there. Um, I just haven't found a way to do it. I think there even a stream would probably work well. Caught up in some action right there. It's interesting how you traverse a lot of open world games, though. I find myself in Wildlands um, hopping in helicopters a lot. Obviously, that's the easiest way to get around. Uh, for short jaunts, I'll take the motorcycle. Um, cars in this game. They're, they're pretty nimble, I would say, uh, but sometimes that that can feel a little weird. Uh, you get in a big truck and it feels really, really light, and it can almost be detrimental to the experience. Um, you know, one game that obviously has a huge open world is Just Cause 2 and Just Cause 3, and now Just Cause 4, as we've reached our first destination here. Let's set up the waypoint and figure out where we're headed. But yeah, the Just Cause series had a massive open world. That was kind of one of the staples of it. Um, but the cars never felt good, so I never really found myself driving them. Um, motorcycles weren't quite as bad, but it, the driving definitely wasn't very good. So you're obviously always going to go probably towards the fastest method of transport. Um, so it's helicopters and uh, planes. And I just feel like you kind of miss some of the world when you do that. Uh, definitely, I'm sure there's videos, so let's run across the map, those kinds of things. Uh, maybe we'll do that someday. <laughs> That's kind of a glutton for punishment style uh, thing. Um, we'll see how long it takes to go across it on a bike. But there's definitely beautiful things to see as we move kind of into a desert, desert style region. Yeah, so definitely a very cool kind of different different regions. South America quite diverse geographically. We got jungle, desert mountains, uh, the cold rocky coastline of the south. And quite a lot of cool history. Man, I spent a lot of time trying to break into that military base there. Did not go well. Something. Not getting involved today, guys. Look. A lava. <laughs> Didn't even remember there being llamas in this game. Uh, it's kind of one of the things that I like too, is uh, you can just explore a bit and find little unique things. Uh, 
They have a really interesting feature that they implemented called the heat map, where basically when you go to the map, it shows uh, intensity dots, basically, on where other players have traveled. Um, so you can kind of go find secrets or find spots that have interesting stuff that might not be necessarily marked on the map. There's a cool car. Usually the cartel lieutenants drive a some sort of mid-engined supercar. I prefer the bike though. Get off the paved stuff here. Back on the dirt. So now we're moving into the salt desert. I do appreciate kind of the little touches of the kind of history and uh, not really lore, but you know, explaining what the locations are. Let's pull into our little blind of here. We'll take this opportunity, I'm going to clean up the HUD a bit here. Alright, hopefully that looks a little bit cleaner. I should have started with that, but oh well. Alright, so... We are up here, so we're going to head over into the salt desert now. Check that out. Making pretty good progress, I would say. We haven't been blown up yet, so that's a definitely a, a plus. Just love the weight shifting. It's nice and crisp. You can feel the back end kicking out a little bit. Like I said, not necessarily realistic, but sometimes just feels good. Oh, that's lovely. Definitely an extensive road network. Uh, let's... Why not? Let's head off the beat track. Let's hit the trails. Cycle, let's use it right. And out on the salt flats here. because of cacti, two because I don't know, there's a ton of baddies in there. Salt flats looks almost like snow. Seems like a military base of some sort. Look cool, what they're doing in there. 
Alright. Into the mountains we go. Pretty diverse set of vehicles in the game. Uh, several different motorcycles. Uh, good selection of helicopters and planes. Uh, of course, lots of cars, vans, trucks. Back into the desert here. So I haven't watched much about Breakpoint, the new um, Ghost Recon game. I think some people have taken issue with it. There was definitely a sense that it was designed for kind of microtransaction-y, uh, resource-grindy, kind of almost mobile game tactics. And I know in their investor call, Ubisoft uh, was talking about needing to kind of rework the game, which is never good so early in its life. Um, so an interesting path we can Take this mountain track here. There's a trail back here. These are almost like footpaths here. But yeah, the breakpoint, I think they're reworking it quite a bit. And uh, I hope it's good. I mean, I, I've enjoyed Wildlands. Um, it did get a bit repetitive. Um, so kind of some more variety in the type of missions would be nice. A lot of times it's usually just go into this place, kill everyone, grab a few things, head out. Uh, definitely making sure it's a tactical element. I know, um, so you can you can roll with an AI squad in Wildlands. I don't think they have the AI teammates implemented in Breakpoint, which is um, a bit worrying as someone who does enjoy a single player experience. Um, can't always link up with other people. Single player is important. Make sure we support people who can't squat up all the time. Stick to the path here.
Sorry, cactus. It's really interesting. It doesn't feel terribly big when you're traversing the world, but uh, it definitely looks large on the map. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I picked up a uh, Xbox One controller. Previously, i have been rocking an old 360 controller. I uh, definitely had seen better days, so I bit the bullet, picked up an Xbox One controller with the wireless dongle for my PC. Uh, definitely a good purchase. Um, it feels really nice, I gotta say, compared to the 360 controller, the D-pad. Oh my god, <laughs> the D-pad is not a bowl of mush anymore. It's actually a discrete directional pad. Uh, and uh, the sticks are nice. I was getting some drift on my P60 controller sticks. And just the thumbsticks themselves are very, very nice feeling. It's like some uh, kind of mossy awesome grave type things, family tombs. I'm not quite sure why I'm making this video. I know it's like not topical at all, but um, I just I've been playing the game and I thought let's, let's do it. I kind of wanted to do it for my own personal interest, and I figured uh, maybe some people would enjoy it. So we can all walk for the ride. Um, I don't know, sometimes you just gotta do things that you wanna do, and they don't have to make sense to anybody but yourself. I think I sound like Bob Ross right now, but... <laughs> That's alright, in our world, it can be anything. There's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. Oh yeah, there are some, like, uh, definitely rally raid truck style things the cartels rock. That's quite a mistake, isn't it? So, let's role play slightly here. We'll pull into a little Rebel Rendezvous. Park the bike for a second. 
take it in the, the view. Your binos. So yeah, I think we'll call that part one of our Ghost Recon Wildlands road trip. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to do a part two, uh, whether this does well or not. I don't really care, to be honest. I just want to do it. I'm having, having fun and enjoying the uh, beautiful views. All right, guys, that is it for part one. I will see you in part two. Bye for now.